guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with another one of my what's for dinner recipe videos. It's basically where I look around and see what needs to be used up and turn it into dinner. So today I have some chicken breasts that I had in the freezer. I have these mushrooms that I need to use very soon. I have some chopped spinach, and I decided to make sort of a chicken and mushrooms kind of a dinner. So start off by putting your Instant Pot on saute. Add in a couple of tablespoons of butter. Once that's pretty much melted, I'm adding in eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of thyme. I'm gonna stir this up and just saute the mushrooms for, I don't know, a couple minutes. If you're not low carb and you'd rather add onions and garlic, go right ahead, add those in right now so that they will kind of cook with the mushrooms. That's been cooking for a little while, and now I'm going to add in one cup of frozen spinach. Of course, you can use fresh if you prefer. I just don't have any. I'm adding in one half cup of chicken stock, and I used the um, Better Than Bouillon, so it didn't dissolve all the way, but that's okay. And I'm adding one tablespoon of soy sauce just because we like the way it tastes. So it's totally optional. I'm going to be adding in the chicken. This is frozen and it's actually pretty big. Oops. And I think I have room to add, it's one and a half chicken breasts, but they're huge. They're this size. I'm going to go ahead and add one more in. I think that should be okay. And these are ones I got in a bigger pack and then just used my vacuum sealer to store them. I don't know if this makes any difference, but I'm going to kind of put some of this on top. Sure, as it cooks, it'll all sort of just cook together. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the saute. Put the top on. Make sure it's at the ceiling and not venting. And because my chicken is frozen, I'm going to set it on pressure cook for 10 minutes. If your chicken is fresh, you only need to cook it for about eight minutes. So either way, when the timer is up, when it's done cooking, you want to check it with a meat thermometer and just make sure it's at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the middle of the thickest part of the chicken breast. Once it's done, I'm actually going to let it naturally depressurize for a little while. Then I'll open it and we will finish this recipe. Okay, the time is up. I've released the pressure. I'm going to open it up. And I want to check to make sure the meat is thoroughly cooked. All right, we're good. I'm going to take the chicken breasts out. That's huge. That is a huge piece of chicken. Gonna set this on saute again. Then I'm gonna add in, whoops, and spill it all over the place, one half cup of cream and whisk that in. And this part is optional, but I'm also adding in an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum just to thicken up the sauce a bit. 
So I'm going to bring this back up to the boil just for a minute or so, add the chicken back in, and it will be ready to serve. In the meantime, I did cut the chicken into more manageable pieces. Okay, so here it is all plated up and I have served it with some green beans on the side. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and the little bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.